Israel, Yahuwah, our Elohim, is one Yahuwah, and thou shalt love Yahuwah thy Elohim with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. Hallelujah. 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 Zion. On this holy Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to all of you, my father's children. And oh yes, we do give our by praise, honor, and glory for allowing us to gather in his name on his holy Shabbat in order to give all praise, honor, and glory to our King, Yahushua Hamashiach, captain of our salvation. Hamashiach, Yahushua, the king of kings, the master of masters. And yes, as I mentioned earlier on, The Shabbat is the seventh day. Get it straight all over the world. In Hebrew, the word Sheva is 
the same root word as Shabbat, the, the, the B sound, is the same letter, it's bet. And people arguing over what day we ought to get together and worship and what day we Remember the Shabbat. Remember the Sabbath day. And keep it holy. And all oh, over the years, Zion, we forgot it. Saturday, we were kicking up all manner of foolishness. But I've been working all week long, and I'm telling you, I'm glad to be in the room with you, my brothers and my sisters, and all you, my father's children, that we recognize that today is a day of rest. And before they get to messing with our live stream, if you can see the more okay. And here, the more okay, let me know now Do we need to reboot again. Place a seven in this chat. If, if you can see me, hear me all right. Woo, because we, listen, we ain't got no problem. We realize we don't own the internet. We know we don't own YouTube. We don't own Facebook. We don't own none of that. We just borrowing it. To give our by you praise on the holy Shabbat. And I see sevens rolling through. Hallelujah. 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 Which lets me know that we can continue. Let me look over here and see. Oh, yes. Hananiah Project is in the house. Which means we have an administrator. We're going to need our administrator on this holy Shabbat to be swift booted. She know what that means. We don't have time for uh, trolls and rabble-rousers on this holy Shabbat. Why? Because I, by Yah, is getting ready to challenge us, Zion. He's getting ready to show us things that maybe we have never seen before, and if we have seen them, we probably never put them together before. And if you're in the room for the first time, let me say what I've always said. There's going to be some things in this lesson that Yah is going to show you through the more, through his word, that 99.999% of the time is going to make you mad. I'm telling you that. Before we even get started, it's going to make you mad. Some of y'all mad already. You just mad that the broadcast could go forward. <laughs> the witches and warlocks and devils that's in the room. <laughs> Boy, all them candles you lit in them, in them pentagram circles did no good. Here we are. Boy, you sitting there talking about, boy, we thought we had it. Who, the devil? You and your workers are the devil? <laughs> Y'all could burn all the candles, have all the seances you want, email and text message one another, you witches and warlocks and goblins and, and demons of damnation. You have no power, say so, over almighty Yah and what he's doing with us on this holy Shabbat. So you can stay mad all you want. But those of you in the room for the first time, you're going to get mad. And there's going to be <laughs> your knee-jerk reaction. I'm telling you what it's going to be before it even happens. The knee-jerk reaction that you're going to have, you're going to get mad and want to just turn off the video. Now, I'm going to tell you like my mama used to tell us, I'm one of eight. She said, you mad? You better get glad. And I'm going to tell you, Zion, all over the world, I've been set apart to do this work. When I look back over my whole life, 
I start to realize something is I on. He set me apart, had me go all the way through school, had me become a doctor for one reason and one reason only, so he could show me the text and I could show it to you. So all those degrees paying off in one major way, and that is to help Zion. And all of my years of preaching and teaching has brought us to this point on this Holy Shabbat. And you're going to see some things, I'm telling you, that's going to disturb you. Ruffle feathers. But I have to show them to you because he called me to be a seer. He showed it to me. I show it to you. You can look it up, do the research yourself. Hallelujah. That's the kind of days we're living in, Zion. And uh, I pray that your anger, I pray that your discomfort will work toward research to find out whether these things be true. And if they are, take the Moray's word right now. <laughs> take my advice right now. Take this message right now. If they're true, and they are, don't try to change the Bible to fit you. Don't try to twist the scripts to fit your church, your organization, your club, your fraternity or sorority. It'll never work. So what are we supposed to do, Maury? We can't be conformed. We can't ask Yah to conform his word to us. We've got to conform to him. Oh, yes. We have to ask him, number one, to forgive us, to cleanse us, and we must repent for our wickedness, then what? Then we have to ask him to conform us into the image of his son. Yahoshua Hamashiach, the lion of the tribe of Yehuda. And if you're in the room with the Moray in less than 15 minutes, I'm on 500 people in here. And you understand what's going forward to the four corners of the earth would you place a seven in this chat please let the whole world know oh yes we understand that part and that's why we in the room no matter how many times they kick us offline how many times the connection is weak no matter how many times i mean it just happens so often we just going to keep it moving. And many of you told our rabbi for hanging in there. You're like, no, no, no. It ain't nothing to reboot. I'm going to get back in this room. <laughs> we give you our praise, honor, and glory for that. Because just like you glad to be in this room, I'm glad to be in here with you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I haven't said this in a while. I need to say this worldwide. And that is Zion, I love you. Who do I love you, Zion? My brothers and my sisters, my love for you and my call, my concern <clears throat> for the work of the kingdom. Uh, has sort of overtaken me so that my love for Zion at this point has moved me to my very core being so that every day I'm, uh, I'm talking to Abaya of how we can help wake up Jacob. No, I say we, not me and him. I'm talking about 
those of us who are working in the kingdom, how can we continue to work with our king to help wake up Jacob? Abaya, what can I say? What can I show them? Man, I realize something, Zion. All I can do is my part. That's all I can do. I can do my part to the best of my abilities. And that's all I can do. Most of y'all know I play music. Been playing all my life. I should be so much better, but anyway, it's on other subject. I play different instruments. Start off on the piano. My real, I would say, love, my true love, is the Hammond organ. That's my real baby. Uh, and then from there, I play the saxophone. And what else, more? And I play bass. And pretty much, if you've been following, you've, you've probably seen me on each of those instruments. But when I'm in a band, or I'm in a group, do you know what part I can play? My part. <laughs> I can't blow the trumpet or, or the saxophone and play the bass at the same time. Come on. I can't jump on the organ and then jump on the piano and then go jump on the bass. I can't do that. No, I got to play my part. And it doesn't matter what part he gives me to play. I got to, whatever he tell me to play. More. If, if, if y'all tell them, say, hey, hey, I get in the band, they say, would you, just, would you play the bass? Guess what I'm going to play? Bass. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. I ain't going to try to play the lead. I ain't playing the alto part. No, no, no. I know my job. It's just to hold it. I know I'm about to hold that bass. And that's all I'm going to do. And if I have to do the same thing through the whole song, if that's my part, then guess what? That's the part I'm going to play. And I hope you out there understand what I'm saying. Because all of us have been given a part to play in the band of Israel. And if you play your part and I play my part, we can make some music and lift up the name of Abaya, giving him praise, honor, because you know the name of Yehuda literally means praising Yah. And that's what I've made my mind up to do, and I hope you've done the same. I have so much commentary that I'm not going to get in it today. I'm going, if Yah lets me stay alive and keep breathing, I do have some commentary on what's happening in this world today to share with you on the following days. So be looking for it, Zion. But on today, we have so far to go in this, in this, in this lesson. I'm not going to be able to do that today. And I decided not even to get into it, even though I already took notes. I decided to just get into the message today. And blessed are your eyes if you can see this. And blessed are your ears if you can hear this on today. Because it really is like that. Before we do that, let us prepare to support the work of the ark. If there was ever a time that I needed you to support this work is now. And all of you, my brothers and sisters worldwide, I want you to know something. If everybody just does their part, and I know how people are. Man, it's 600 people in the room. If 600 people all gave $1, 
I know how we think. Let me tell you all something. That's not how it works. I wish we could do that. Everybody ever watch any video? We would be multimillionaires by now. <laughs> That's not how it works, and you know it. Yah has to support the work of the ark, the preaching and teaching of Morio Yah, which is me, and the work of those administrators behind the scenes and those connected to the ark with our traveling and our YouTube and the logistics and everything that goes on. The only way that we can do that is that you have to pray and ask Yah how you can support us. And whether you believe it or not, we have no, we have no parent body somewhere that supports me as I preach. We don't, we don't, we don't have an organization or or some type of person with really deep pockets that say, oh no, we're gonna make sure that more we keep preaching. That's not what's happening. It's everybody watching me doing their part. And Toda Rabah, for those of you who have been faithful, and some of you have gone above measure. And I know who you are, you know who you are, and Toda Rabah will be getting to you and letting you know our appreciation for what you're doing for us and how you care for us. And again, we never, ever rate that on amounts. We rate that on, sac we, we, we rate that on sacrifice. Because some people struggling and other people doing well off. But wherever you are in life, and you give to the work, we say toda raba, especially for you all who are giving out of out of your need. So it's a whole kind of different giving, <laughs> and I understand that. And I don't take it for granted, especially these days. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If y'all agree with the more, and you understand that this work does need to be supported, and it has to be supported on a regular basis, would you put a 12? for the 12 tribes of Israel. All you're saying is, I understand that. That it has to be from week to week. And only reason that I am making the appeal is because I'm the face of the ark right now. I'm the face that people see when they type in. And so I take it upon myself to do what needs to be done. And I don't make any apologies for it because I believe in this work. I was driving home the other day from town and I was listening to one of these to one of these radio stations. And the whole time I was listening to it, they were talking about they were uh, asking for money and support. And they, were and they were talking about matching this and program this. And if you could just give this and donate your car and your boat and your and your this and that. I was like. But you know what? They were saying they're they proud to do it because they believed, watch this, in their station. They believed in, in, in reporting the news of what they think is news. It's not even the scripture. And I said, if they can be convicted over that which is temporary and is going to fail, if they can be convinced and convicted that this is right to do, then how much more should those of us who are in the kingdom have courage when we ask I by y'all's people. Because I'm going to tell you who I can't ask. <laughs> I can't ask the government to, to support what I'm saying. Oh, no, the beast ain't going to do it. You can forget that. The Catholic ain't going to do it. The Apostolic and the Baptist and nobody else is going to do it, Zion. It's only you. Hoo-wee. <laughs> Now, I'm going to pray, and then we're going to listen to our Ten Commandments. We need to hear that on today. And I'm going to ask Abaya to bless those of you who are seeking to support this work. If we ever need it, we need it now. Abaya, Toda, for your people. Many of them made it into this room with a heart and a mind, not only to receive your word to them and to hear what the Ruach is saying to the assembly today. But many of your children have come in this room to support this work. 
Many of them may be watching this as it is rebroadcast. And as they watch it, they are saying, what can I do to help? My prayer is that you would show them and that they will be obedient to whatever you say. That's what Miriam said to the crowd, whatever he says, do it. And hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It was enough wine at the wedding feast that they had some left over. And the governor said that they had saved the best until last. Abaya told our for what you're going to do. Hallelujah. And what you're doing right now, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And to the Rabbah, from my heart, which means thank you, multiply, and thank you, expand it on behalf of the heart. For our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is at this day. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before Yah, our Elohim, as he has commanded us. Praise you, Father Yah. I will not have any other Elohim before you. Nor bow down to any graven images too. I won't take the name of Yah, my Elohim, in vain. I'll do.
Hallelujah. 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 Zion. The song said, yes, I'll do. I'm going to keep those laws, those statutes and those commandments. I'll keep y'all first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whew. Zion, if you agree with that song, um, put a 27 in this chat room, please, that we're going to keep those laws, those statutes, and, this, and those commandments, and that whatever he says to do, that is what we should do. When I see them 27s and I say, Toda Rabbah, and um, blessed, your, blessed are your eyes. Your eyes are blessed if you can see that simple truth. Well, it's not really a simple truth, but it's a surface truth, very surface. He says it, we do it. He says, do this, we do it. He said, don't do this, then we don't do that. That's, that's the Bible. <laughs> he said, do this, then we do the things he says. Don't do this, then we just don't do the things he said don't do, and then we'll be all right. But wait a minute, hold on a minute. Is that Old Testament or New Testament? <laughs> What? Whoa, you Israelites, you Hebrews, you slumber bruised, jet fat, ites, hamites. You don't sit here and try to find out what covenant you're in. One covenant renewed several times. But not one time that it was renewed did it say, oh, and by the way, you don't have to keep the laws or the statutes or the commandments anymore. It's not one time when the when the covenant was renewed that you were told that the law was done away with. Nowhere in the Bible. And our King Hamashiach said, don't even think it. <laughs> don't even think that. Whew. Now we're all in the room. I think you all understand what I'm saying. And if you can still hear me all right and see, okay, uh, put a 100. We're going we're gonna to get right into our text today because got a long ways to go. Put a 100. And I'm, I'm warning you once again, some of y'all going to get mad on this Shabbat. I don't care. Do the research. And hopefully you get glad before it's too late. And you and you come out from among them and be separate, says Yahuwah, while you can. Because Zion, Judgment Day is coming. Revelation. Chapter 17. Beginning at verse 1. Let us all have our Bibles out. And let us all read this passage together, Zion. And I'm reading it today for continuity. You know what that means? So that we can have it all in one video. I know I've gone through each one already. I've got broke it down, but we're getting ready to move to 18 next week. So we're going to get it all on this one video. Let's do it. And there came one of the seven angels, which had seven, had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, 
with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. There that, there that whore go. There she is. So he carried me away into the wilderness and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet colored beast. A what, Moray? A scarlet colored beast. Full of the names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Having a golden cup in her hand. Oh, these heathens know about the golden cup. They told you you couldn't understand the revelation. And they steady writing pictures about it. They told you you ain't got to know that. All you need to know is white European Jesus and him crucified, huh? But they steady reading your book and trying to help their people. Woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet and decked with precious stones and pearls, with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of the abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken, drunk, drunk with what? She was drunk with what? The blood of the saints. She was what, Moray? Did you just read that? Oh, yes. To the world. Her identification mark. One of the identifiers of who she is. She killed us. Murdered us. Enslaved us. This great whore is drunk with the blood of the saints. Only the records in glory will ever be able to reveal just how much of our blood have been spilled and drunk by this harlot, this whore of Babylon. But she's so drunk, watch now, she is inebriated, which means she's drunken, which means now she's out of control. Let's continue. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Hamashiach. When I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. And the angel said unto me, wherefore did thou marvel? I'll tell you the mystery of the woman. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. So the mystery is no mystery. Because once you tell a mystery, it's no longer a mystery, right? And uh, and <laughs> and John was like, I don't understand what I'm saying. You know, his name is really Yahakana. And the angel said, I'll show you. Which means he's like, I'm going to make it plain so you can see it. If y'all see that in this text, I got to keep going. But just up until now, if you all have seen that, put a 500 in the chat, please. Put a 500. Well, I'll take some more. But this well water that has been alkaline and filtered. Hallelujah. And 500 is rolling through here. It's a beautiful thing. I will tell thee of the mystery of the woman. I'm going to tell you. But not only am I going to tell you of, of, of the mystery of the woman, 
I'm also going to tell you about this beast that's carrying her. Maury, what? That's why I used this one today. He said, I'm going to tell you who this whore is. But I'm also going to tell you who the beast is that's carrying her. If you all understand, woo, we all feel it. If y'all understood that, put a 700 in here. Clear as day. I'm going to show you who the whore is. Well, she's a beast too. But I'm also going to show you the beast too, the beast that's carrying her. So that we're going to get a revelation of both beasts. And I've been telling y'all this for months now. There are two beasts. There is the religious beast. And there is the governmental or the government beast, the beast of religion and the beast of government. And the beast religion and the beast government both draw their power from the devil, from the dragon, if you if you please which we found out earlier on that the dragon is behind the whole thing. We know that's the devil, Hasatan, who's been still mad, still mad at us to this day. He loses, by the way. So if you're following the devil and he's speaking through the mouth of one that looks like a lamb but it actually talks with the mouth of the dragon and you think that's your salvation whoo, let the more help you right now you lose this is not the winning team it's the losing team Here we go. He said, I'll tell you the mystery of the woman, the beast that carried her has seven heads and ten horns. The, the beast that thou sawest was and is not shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. We already found that out earlier and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written, whose names were not written. The ones that dwell on the earth are the ones whose names are not written. in the books of life, in the book of life, from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was and is, and is not, yet is. And here's the mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits. We already discovered that in the previous video, that's Rome. And there are seven kings, five are fallen, one is and the other is not, is not Yet come, and when he cometh, he must continue a short while. We know that that ended up being what? The European Union, plain as day. They even call it G7. <laughs> he said, I'm going to show you this ain't hard. Now, if you read them heathen commentaries, and you read all of them, them heathens trying to talk about this and trying to hide themselves, you'll never get it. When y'all showed it to me, it was so plain. I was like, wow, this whole time. I'm like, oh, yes. Everything that Yahakanan saw was future. And he saw it as plain as it could possibly be seen. That eventually the world superpower would be stationed in, on, in Rome. That Rome would become the center of world religion. And I got news for y'all. All world religion. That's why it's Mystery Babylon. Catholicism, quote unquote, Judaism, and believe it or not, there's even some Islam connected to this. I ain't got time right now to get into that deep. If you start studying, you're going to find some weird connections for religious people who seek to establish religions outside of Torah, make strange bedfellows.
and the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is one of the seven and goes into perdition. Simply this, and, and don't trip on the beast because eventually the beast is going to take the place of religion and become and become the world religion the beast this beast which is the government will one day decide we're going to go ahead we're going to eat her and kill her and then this will become of course it all in one the beast mystery babylon is not hard this is this is this is these really ABCs. You should be teaching this to your young people. Now watch what he says. And the ten horns with thou sawest are ten kings. Ten what? Ten leaders. Malek. So listen, in, in Hebrew, we don't have a word for president. In Hebrew, we don't we don't have a word for prime minister. In Hebrew, we don't have a parliament. In Hebrew, we have what's called malek. And these are powerful men and women who become like kings or queens. And, and that's what this is about. He said, listen, these 10 kings, they receive no kingdom. In other words, they are pawns, figureheads. They really don't own a kingdom. But watch what they have done. But they receive power as kings with the beast. In other words, they are only figureheads. And their power that they do have comes from the beast, the governments. I hope I'm not losing you, Zion. Let me break it down the best way I can. Today, if you're not with the European Union, today, if you're not rolling with the quote unquote powers that be today, if you're not a part of this, of this leadership, of this crowd right here today, you get nothing. And those of you who are um, who live outside the United States of America and all over the world, most of you all know that the majority of the quote unquote men in power today are really puppets in the hands of the Europeans. Come on, let's be honest. Ain't nobody, <laughs> nobody's sovereign today unless the Europeans say you can be sovereign. If you don't believe me, ask Gaddafi. Ask all the people who fell under the Arab Spring. Ask the leaders of the islands. Ask the countries in Ophir. Oh, yes, let them already give you the real name of, our, of the Holy Land, of the real motherland, Ophir. They divided that thing up into about 4,000 nations and made every single one of them bow down to them. So they get, they get a title and they get some power, but it's temporary. If you understood that, uh, put a 1,000, please. We got, we got a long ways to go. Put a 1,000. These are ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings. But look, it's only one hour with the beast. Once again, one hour is prophetic time. Okay? So you need to Write that down if that's if that's how you are um, if that's how you can remember things. When we use numbers 
in Hebrew. Certain numbers carry with it the idea of prophecy. Just the numbers themselves or the words themselves are prophetic words. So like when you hear terms like this in the Bible, like a thousand years, it was like one day. One day is a thousand years. We're talking about prophetic terms, right? It's obvious. And we talk about times of trial, talking about silence in heaven, about the space of a half hour. And then we, we see that Babylon fall in one hour, right? So these are all prophetic times. And many people try to try to break it down at literal times. But I will say this, there are some times when time is literal. But there's also many times when time is prophetic. So here, what we what we what we need to bring away from this, what we need to pull from this passage is that these kings that give uh that join to the beast so that they can have authority, even though they don't have real authority, their time with the beast is very short. Don't worry. Help the world see it. If I just opened the eyes, not me, but if I helped you see the Bible now, to where you see that these kings are not permanent kings. And that these nations are not long-lasting nations. But prophetically speaking, they only really get power for about an hour. Which is to say, it's a very short time that they get the power and it's going to come from the beast. If that makes sense, I need a 10,000 while I get some water. I have to have that in this chat. I'm not going to move forward. We're going to stop this video if you can't see that. Because that's how important the rest of the video is. That this last that this last thing that shows up is only gonna be here a little while, prophetically, prophetically speaking, about an hour. And I know right now, your brain is like most of you all in the room. You thinking like. Where's he going with this? Okay, so these all these kings are gonna come together, and then the beast is gonna give them all power, but they're not really gonna get land, they're not really gonna get a kingdom, but they do get power, but it's temporary and it's only for a short time. Who is that? Y'all already know. The last king or the last people to have a nation is America. Oh, no, 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 no. The United States. There you go. There you What am I? There I go what? It's the last kingdom that is given power. But I want you to note something about the power here. I know y'all going to say, man, go on with that. No, 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 no. Listen, who's the king here? Who's the king of America? Who's the king of the United States? Who's the king? Let me just look. <laughs> no, 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 it's Joe Biden is not the king. Who's the king here? No, no, y'all got them wrong in the chat. <laughs> we don't have a king. So obviously, oh, boy, whoo, now you're getting closer. The chat is getting closer. Y'all getting close to the truth now. Now the chat's getting closer to the truth. It's not hard once you see it. Let's read that again. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, 
but receive power as king one hour with the beast. So who is the last major nation in the world to receive power from the actual beast system? No doubt it's this one. But notice, even though they claim to be independent, there is no king like one person who says, I have the final say here like they do everywhere else where there's kings. So obviously we have a king, quote unquote, kingdom, but not really king power. <laughs> because even Joe Biden said, I can't do nothing about the gas. That's because of Ukraine and, and, West, and, and Russia's fighting. We're like, wait a minute, I thought this was America. I thought we were independent. I thought we did what we want to do. For some of you all, this might be over your head for now. Pray about it. Now here is verse 13. These have one mind. Who? All these kings. All these people. All these so-called leaders that are not really leaders because they don't really have sovereignty. But what do they have in common? One mind. If you could clearly see that the Bible says these have one mind, in other words, they all are thinking alike and they are acting alike. If you can understand just that, would you please put a 20,000 in this jet? 20,000. Oh, yes, put 20,000. They have one mind. And without getting into some kind of, because I'm, I'm not trying to lead you, I, got, I, got, I still have a ways to go today, but without trying to lead you into some weird path, I want you to know that the end game of the one mind is the same. So how they get to the end game, they might be taking several different paths, but they all have the same end game in mind. And when I say they all have one mind, this is everywhere. By the way, this is the devil. This is the image of Satan. If his image was manifest here, it would be this image. This is the image of the dragon, the beast. And so is this. Whew, I get this off. This is who they try to push on you to be the line of the tribe of Yehuda. And you know that this don't look nothing like our king. You know that our king is the, is the line of the tribe of Yehuda and you know coming up out of Ophir, he gonna look like this. You know good and well. And you know that our king ain't running around here talking about he need to get his little beard twisted in. Let me hold mine. Oh, boy. Woo! No, ma'am. No, sir. This is the face of the beast system. This is the face of the beast religion. Watch. I don't care where you go. 
They have one mind. Yes, for sure. Oh, they, they might be acting like they fussing and fighting with each other in these different nations until what? Christmas. And then they all going to do what? Stop and celebrate their God. Tammuz. They might be doing whatever until what? Easter. Then they all do what? Everywhere you go, watch what they eat. Nasty crabs and and no uh, sea roaches and things. One mind everywhere. Travel anywhere around here. How do they talk? What's going on right now? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N P Q R S T U V W X Y. People got more voice than most. What everywhere that this is. Everywhere. I have one mind because if you don't, this system, this religion and this system will kill you. So in order to get power with the beast, you got to be in agreement with the beast. In order to hold office in this beast system, you got to be in agreement with the beast. And some of y'all watching me right now, you know good and well, I don't give a dang about no Republican, Democrat, Independent, whoever, but I tell you one thing, if you stand up against anything in that Torah over that beast, then you will not get elected to no office, you will share no power, you will get no support, and, and as a matter of fact, they will try to hunt you down and shut you up, or even worse, take you out. Because this system has an end game. They got one mind. And they give their power and strength to what? Right in the chat. So the world know I'm not just making this up. So where is their energy going and their resources? Where does it go? It's in the Bible. I'll, you don't even need me to show it to you. All you need me for is to slow it down. What, what do they do with their in, energy, their power, and their resources? What do they give it to? Look, there it is. It's in the chat. I don't even have to say it. It's in your Bible. All of their thinking their energy, their resources, their power is all for government or the whole religion, which we're going to find out is really connected. But that's what everybody does. They give their power and their strength to the beast. have one mind which means they got one end game and I'm going to tell it to you right now what it is it's verse 14 these shall make war With the lamb. More, more, come on, more, more, no way, more, no way, more, what? These, these, these. These will make war 
with him. So, so what is the end game for the beast? Number one, to kill us and become drunk on our blood, the blood of our preachers, the blood of the blood of our leaders, and the blood of the saints, which saints always represent the set apart people, which is Israel. Number one, and they've accomplished that already. They're continually doing that every day. But the blood of the Israelites scattered is so deep. Every day they discover more massacres of our people, more starvation of our people, more slavery of our people. Every day they're discovering more hideous sights. Every day they discover graveyards. Every day they discover places of slaughter. Every day they're uncovering uh, 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 places where we were lynched, raped, and killed, slaughtered. Every single day under the power of this whore. So they, yes, the cup, the cup is full. She's, she doesn't kill so many of us and steady doing it. That she just flat out drunk now. Cause she lives off our blood. She's drunk on the blood. In other words, what, what got her rich and powerful name is our blood. And she's drunk on it. And the people who are committing fornication with her are also drinking it. That's how the world got rich. Don't matter what people tell you. I'm trying to show you something. When the European uh, rose to power, they rose to power as a result of enslaving us. Maury was, is that true? Didn't the Bible say that the sons and daughters of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob would be as the number of the stars in the heaven? And then, then in another passage, he said, man, look at, the, look at the, the sand on the sea. Can you count that? He said, no, that's going to be your descendants. And of course, we know what the record said. The record is that that a great darkness and horror came over Abraham. The Most High was a, what's wrong with you, man? He said, I've seen some things concerning my offspring. And Yah says, no for sure, no for surety, your people will go into captivity, be mistreated by the hands of the enemy in a land that's not their own. But after 400 years, I'm gonna recover them. And then I'm gonna kill those who had them. So yes, this is the 400 years he was talking about. Where am I at? Get me off my spot. If y'all still following the mole rain, um, where are we at? Put 100,000 in here. If you're still following the more way, because really I got to push toward my main point. They all agreed to kill us, enslave us, rob us, take our last name, never tell us. I've done this on so many videos. It's written in the Bible so many times that our state would be so bad that we wouldn't know our name, that Israel would be wiped out of our sight. We wouldn't even know we were Israel until he woke us up again. It's so bad that when Isaiah looked into the future, he said, the ox know his owner and the master and the, and the ass his master's crib. My people, they don't even know. 
They don't even know who their maker is, who their Abba is. They don't even know where their home is. They don't even know where they're stable. They don't know their own crib. And most tragic of all, he said they don't even consider it. Go back to verse 13 one more time. These have one mind. Who? The beasts and the kings of the earth. They're in agreement. And everyone is going to come together, put their power together, and give their power and their strength to the beast for one reason to make war with our king. The end game is to fight our king when he comes. They know he's coming. Talking about Star Wars, we trying to shoot down stuff in the sky. <laughs> But well, they right now testing nuclear weapons, see if they can explode in space. They know he's coming. They say it's an alien invasion that may be coming soon. Y'all get ready for it. Oh, yes. He'll tell you in a minute, I'm not of this world. <laughs> he's coming now. So now what are they trying to do? They're trying to get the whole world together on one accord to put all their energies together. Why? Because the Europeans don't want to leave here. Are you crazy? This is their heaven. They run this planet. It is under their control completely. They do what they want here, when they want, how they want. They run the thing. This is their world. If you don't believe me, oh, I already done that video. I can't do it again. How many permits do you need to move around in this world? I said permits. Because the word permit is short for the word permission. And if you got a permit for this and a permit to that, and a, that means you need permission to do this, permission to do that, permission to do that. But guess what? There are people in this world don't need a permit for nothing. And you think they want to give that up? You think they want to give that up to our king and his people? Oh, no. And do you really think that that European needs enough nuclear weapons to destroy the earth 35 times, 100 times. You think that's why he's building that up? Are you really serious? When he already know that pushing the button destroys him, that's not why he's doing it. This day is coming. And he's like, no, it ain't. Now you get a picture of what is called a one world religion and a one world government. If the Mare has made sense just now, Please put a 500,000. He said, I'll show you the mystery of the beast. It ain't that sick. It ain't that hard. It's going to be a religious system of religion. I mean, a, there'll be a worldwide religious system. There'll be a worldwide military system or government. And there will come a time where the government will no longer need the religion. So re so because it's going to morph, so government is going to start doing what? Tearing religion up, which is doing now. This, the exposing of religion and religious leaders is happening as I'm talking to you, which is very interesting because I thought this was going to be further in the future. Where am I? Oh. So let me help you. If you've been in this room this long, you need to stay to see what the end is going to be. 
because you're going to be shocked when you find out who is all in this religious, this world religion, mystery Babylon, the great mother of harlots and abomination of the earth, how they are connected together. Y'all be like, no more way. Oh, yes. First thing I want you to see is First thing I want you to see is how you identify this this whore based on how she's dressing, right? According to the Bible, it said her garb would be purple and scarlet. I dealt with this last week, but I couldn't get into it because I didn't have all my slides. By the way, I didn't write none of these slides. Everything I'm getting ready to show you is for educational purposes. And I did not create any of these slides. These slides were simply pulled offline. Anybody watching the more can have these slides. They are not any possession of mine or any... Look, bishops, oh, uh, Catholic bishop colors or uh, leadership colors, the priests, the ordinary color for the Roman Catholic priest is black. Regular piece, religious, and it goes on, however the colors include, and they go on, blah, blah. But he said the bishops. It's interesting, the word bishop. Very interesting. Because not too long ago, there was this move in the world for everybody to start calling preachers bishops. A bishop wears a color called anmora, which is a mixture of red and purple hues. So basically, you get a phrase called being raised to the purple. Don't you see it? Being raised to the purple. And the cardinals wear red. But they actually say cardinals wear scarlet. Hold on, wait a minute. What's the beast? The beast carried me away into his spirit, and I saw a woman sit up on a scarlet colored beast. And the woman was, was arrayed in purple and scarlet. What? Dick with gold and precious stone and pearls, having a cup in her hand of abomination and filthiness of her fornication. This is not rocket science. What is this? Now imagine you looking into the future, because y'all are showing him, of something that hasn't even happened yet. As I told you before, when John wrote this, there was no Catholic church. He was looking in the future at a beast system that would be red, scarlet, and purple. Until here, there wasn't any. I know you can't see this on video that well. There's a cup on this table and a tray. And you see purple and red, by the hundreds. 
again, educational purposes. I didn't make this video. I didn't take this picture. I just downloaded it. I'm like, what system is known for these colors? Because we might need to find that system and find out who. Oh, here it is again. And do you know a heathen had nerve to put the version here? So the heathens know this, but I guess they're not teaching it to, to Zion. Because unfortunately, we even still got some Israelites connected with this. Slumber bruise. Sleep and dead and trespasses and sin. Is that it, Maury? No, no, no. I just got a few slides. I told you. I, got, I, I couldn't wait to get back to the studio where I had my slides. There they go. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet. Of all of the colors in the world, why did they choose these two colors? It wasn't, remember, remember, this didn't exist when John wrote. These people adopted these colors hundreds of years later. Look good. And why did they choose of all places to have their headquarters to be Rome? I mean, if they would just simply say, you know what, we're going to have our headquarters in Mississippi, then you could have took the whole Bible and tossed it out and said, oh, no, nah, there ain't nothing in Rome. But now nah, we know what's in Rome. We know that this is the center. And I had y'all do this last week. I, did, I, I said, you, you Google the, the city on Seven Hills. Let's see what it comes up with. What else? The Bible says that she also had a cup. Who is known for the well, for the cup, the shallots? Who's known for this? For the, having a golden cup? Just answer it. It's right here. We don't have to even go deep. That's not deep. That's on the surface. And I know somebody getting mad. <laughs> right, ain't it? Okay, whatever. I ain't, I'm ain't. i not here to argue. I'm here to show you. I'm a seer. Here's another picture. And what is this coon doing in the <laughs> marching with these devils? Woo! Oh, he look a little Hamitish though. He may not be an Israelite. He might not know no better. He looked more out of place walking with these demons. But like I said, you know, he may be Hamite. But if he is Israelite, he ought to be ashamed of himself. Knowing good and well that this does not represent Abraham, Isaac, nor Jacob. And what is that thing on your head, sir? I'll tell you what it is. What is it, Moray? It's Dagon. And what was Dagon? Hebrew lesson. The word, our word, for fish is dag, which obviously has a dollar in it, which represents a door, a, power, a door. And in this particular thing, the function of a door swings back and forth. And then you hear the gamel in there, that's obvious, which represents the foot. So the foot or the heel of whatever this is that moves back and forth. This is a picture of a fish. So our, our word for fish is dag. And as that, dagon is a fish god. Now I want to hold this up so you can see it. The fish head is like it would be like this that, that's how it would swim that's the front of the fish's head and that's the tail 
Maury, I don't believe this. You don't believe what? Why, of all the hats that they want to wear, why they want a Babylonian hat? There's a picture of it right there. Once again, education purposes only. There is the picture of it right there. The ancient Dagon, Dagon that's a picture taken off one of the walls, sketched off one of the walls. And then now their leader with a Dagon hat, literally showing you that it is Babylon. It ain't even no secret. So why do we got 10,000 different books, 20,000, a million books out here talking about, I wonder who that is, or don't read that book at all. Why? It's right there. You can see it. This is on the walls. This etched in stone. And you see how the back of it comes down? And look, there's a little tail on it. More, more. Here's a better picture. Education. This is education. There's another picture of it. So you think this is accidental and coincidental, huh? What John saw. That's Babylon. But to him, it was a mystery. But he knew it was still Babylon because he could recognize the Babylonian gods. He, he understood, he knew who Dagon was. And you notice that fish symbol that they use? And they say, because why Jesus said we're going to be fishers of men, they knew good and well that was a Dagon sign. That is, that is not the sign of the Israelites. Becoming fishers of men takes us back to the book of Jeremiah. Our symbol is not a fish. There is nowhere in the Bible where our symbol is a fish. That's Babylon. Our symbol is the menorah. You are the light of the world. He didn't say you was the fish of the world. <laughs> That's not our symbol, Zion. We are the original natural tree, the natural branches of what? The olive tree. Get it straight. The symbolism of Israel have to do with an olive tree, grapevine. He said, I planted me a vine on a on a hill, on a high hill, in some kind of way. I know I planted some good grapes, but what in the world is going on in this grapevine? Where these rotten grapes come from? Nasty, sour grapes. Oh, okay. We got somebody. Who, uh, perverting who we are and whose we are. I want to show you something. Same hat. I told you. It's the same hat. See the, see the two things right here? Dot on that side, dot on that side. On this one, they just use the same thing, thing dot on this side, dot on that. They use it for eyes. Same hat, though. Maury, are you serious? Look at the symbol on this, on it. Look at the symbol. You see that cross? Look at the symbol on their chest. You see that cross? Whore and her daughters.
these people are these people. And yes, that's a lynching. And that's one of the Israelites hanging up there. They spilled the blood of the saints and they drunk with it. That's why it's a crowd here. Are you? No, what's your tea right here? I know y'all tired of this, shit, but, but, but sometimes we get people in the room for the first time. I have to prove these things. Would you please read what's on the top of that? Literally says, Jesus saves. And look what they consider is Jesus. When they say that, they're talking about this. They're talking about this, this demonic picture. They're not talking about our king based on the book of the Revelation. Talking about our king that showed to come. They're talking about this thing, this beast here, this image. That's what they're talking about. They're not talking about the line of the tribe of Yehuda. They're talking about some European. I'll put that other slide. Oh. So I'll show you the mystery of the beast. It ain't hard. I'll even tell you what clothes they're wearing. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to show you what clothes they're wearing. I'll show you what cup they're drinking in. I'll show you what kind of cup it is. I'll tell you what color their clothes are and what cup they're drinking. And I'll show you that it's Babylon because they're going to wear Dagon's hat. Y'all still in the room with them all right? You ain't ran out, have you? <laughs> I ain't done. Who is this? And why have they chosen the colors? Purple and red. Scarlet and purple. Why? And of all the things that they could call themselves, I gave you the list before. I don't put that slide away. Let me see where it is. Let me find it. Out of all the things that they could have chosen, all the names they could have called themselves, where's my page at? Why did they say bishop? When they know that the colors of the bishop in that in that organization, I just showed you the cardinals and the bishops. You already saw them that they were red and the purple and they're scarlet and purple. Why? When you start doing the research, you're gonna find out something, Zion. Strange bedfellows. The mother of whores and whore daughters. More, right, more. What? There goes some more. You think it was just by chance they chose those colors? Or did someone assign them colors and said, if you want to be a part of the bishop bishopric, these are the colors that bishop wear, and these are the colors that cardinals wear. And have you noticed that in this system, with these so-called independent, quote-unquote, churches, how come not one of them have a pope? (laughs) 
The rabbit hole is deep, ain't it? Why don't they say I'm the Pope? He said, you're going to look out. You're going to see her. She's going to be in purple and red and scarlet. That's the mother whore. And her daughters, of course, they're going to try to dress like their mama. Because their daughters is hoes, too. Man, yeah, more right. There you go. What's what? What's on his head? Where'd they get this from? Who told him to put on this regalia here? And I never want them better say they the Pope, though. Here's another group. How is Israel into this? The ox knows his owner. The ass knows his master's crib. My people, they don't know. They don't even consider. Some of y'all might be saying, man, Murray, man, they just doing that. They just doing that. They don't know no better. If they knew better, at least they not wearing them hats. I don't see none of our people wearing them hats. For real? Man, at least they ain't wearing them. At least our people ain't wearing them Dagon hats. For real? I never seen one of my preachers and one of our pastors wearing that Pope hat. That's for sure. For real? They go Dagon hat right there. Strange bedfellows, I'm telling you. Here go a whole bunch of them. <laughs> our people so our people so lost. That's Dagon. It's a fish head. That's Dagon. It's fish god. My mama says sometimes you gotta laugh to keep from crying. What in what what in the what in the uh, what in the <laughs> and look, he's so lost. Not only is he, but he wearing the same sign of the clan. You see it? I showed it to you here. You see it here? You see it here? It's the same picture that I showed you earlier in the slides. Here. You see it? You see it? Would you listen to the more one more time? Read the Holy Bible. These, verse 13. These have one mind. 
if y'all could see that as clear as crystal clear as day that they all have one mind, uh, would you put uh, 800,000, which y'all know me and we work into a conclusion. These all have one mind, put an 800,000. If you can clearly see, they got one mind. They got one mind. They got one mind. They wear the same hats. They got the same clothes. They got the same symbols. They believe in the same thing. They teach the same thing. They bow down to the same images. If y'all can clearly see that, put an 800,000. Because my heart goes out, especially for my people in Israel. Just don't know her. Poor thing. Oh, what is this? <laughs> no, not one of the sisters. What is she doing? Same clan symbol. Same Catholic. Everything. And wait, and same color. Red. Mulberry just talking. Let's read about her. Since we dealt with the church of God in Christ and the apostolic. Why don't we talk about the Baptists? Let's talk about this. Whatever. Baptist. Y'all not, not going to believe me. I, I promise I didn't write nothing. I, I just downloaded this. I'm going to put this up here so you all can see it. She got the day gone hat on. Let's read it. About it. Let's, speak, let's see what she's into. Baptist pastor tells church she's married to female bishop. And resigns claim scriptures support same sex love. She said the scriptures support same sex. Look, that's what she said. I'm just reading education. That's Babylon. That's Dagon. Let me put it up here so y'all can see it. Because you ain't gonna be able to say that that came out the ark. That didn't come from the ark. Let's see where this came from. Christian Post. <laughs> right there. So before you get talking about Meh, more outrageous talk. No, call the Christian Post and ask them why they ran this article. I didn't run this article. But I know one thing, her hat and his hat and these hats and this hat and these hats and this hat. <laughs> Y'all have mercy on our people. Laws. In Babylon, mystery Babylon. These have one mind. These have one mind. These have one mind. These have one mind. And what they do, they're going to give their power and their strength to the beast. Did you get that? Put a 900,000 if you got that. I showed you not only the whore's mother, the mother whore, the great whore. I showed you her daughters. I couldn't show you all. But I got a slide somewhere in here. I'm in, in my in my haste to put these this message 
all the slides together. I, I hopefully I'll get to it before I, I have a I have a uh, one of these slides that I put through here. One of them, I had a picture of even a uh, hexagram. You had a picture of what, Maury? Yeah, I just, I just don't know where I put it. I don't want to show you. But on this fish head, first of all, I want you to notice what kind of hats these people wear. Where have you seen those hats before? What? In Judaism. But they're Christian though. Why are they wearing the hats of the Zionists and Judaism? Strange, huh? One of these hats I have picture, but I see right now I've got some slides. That's me trying to go too fast. One of these slides, I had a picture where they literally had a hexagram on that fish hat. It's a picture of it. I must have dropped it. That's fine. Now let me do a spinoff of that. Man, what you talking about, more right? A spinoff. Mm -hmm. Because part of that religious order. What is that? I wish I could find that. Now that I've been talking about it. Somebody can go online. It ain't hard to do. Just type in hexagram on, on, on the Pope hat and put it in the chat. It'll show up. It's not, it's not hard to dig. It's on the surface. It's all surface stuff. Well, let me show you something else. You see that? Can you see this? Why is it purple? And the deeper you go into it, you're going to see that they make strange bedfellows with the Catholic and the rest of all the whores of Babylon. This is another hoe. This is another, off, this is another offspring. Remind yourself, don't it? The rabbit hole so deep. Don't remind you son? Don't this look eerie like this? The resemblance? And why is the leader of this group, why does he call himself not the Pope? Not the Archbishop. I mean, not the, uh, uh, what, is, what is it? Uh, no, 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 not a Cardinal, but a Bishop. When Bishops wear this color. Why? The resemblances are so, it's so, <laughs> it makes you wonder. And I've been hollering about this now 10 years. Because I said, I was so happy to wake up to the truth. But I could not understand why. People will be woke to the truth and say, Messiah, our king, Hamashiach, is a bastard. That his mama was a hoe. That, that his mama being a whore and Joseph being a whoremonger. Because in our community, no matter what you say, when a woman in, he, in, in Israel got pregnant out of wedlock, it was considered whoredom in our culture. 
And if you were with someone before they got married and committing adultery and fornication or forn whatever it was, you were considered playing the whole, playing the whole, the whore. So what would make a person knowing that, know that he's Israelites are waking up to truth and say, oh yeah, don't think there was no miraculous birth. Who told you that? Oh, don't think that it was possible for Miriam to have a baby without Joseph and him having sex. So Joseph is his daddy? That means we all going to hell. And I've been preaching this for how many years now? Going on 11 years. And then I started studying the, the where they got that from. I said, oh. That come up out of, out of a Masonic teaching. Man, some of that come out of like off uh, um, Judaism teachings. Some of that come up out of Islamic teachings. They all have one mind, and that is to do what? They're going to all give their power to the beast. Moira, you taking that way too far. Okay, I might be. I hope I am. And I hope to, yeah, if anyone is deceived, you come out. And I hope to, I by yeah, none of these people are doing what they're doing on purpose. I hope that's the case. Do you see this? That's the heathen, right? They're going to do what they're going to do. That's the B system. It's part of the B system. What is this? What is he doing on this checkerboard floor? Making a video. And it's funny because the word for mason represents, you know, they're they're like builders. A real ma actual mason is a bricklayer. It's a, you know, it's called, you know, mason. But the organization, they always talk about building. There's a rap video on a masonic, a masonic tiled floor. How deep is the rabbit hole? And again, so that you guys, I don't want nobody out there sound biting the more or trying to say, I created these pictures or I took these pictures or I'm some kind of agent that's going around following people around. I'm not. This is such a simple Google search. Most of these things, it was a one click. I didn't even have to do no deep research. Just typed it in and got pictures like this. The resemblance is eerie. Joseph ain't a daddy. And Gentiles can be saved. They can be grafted in. Where's this doctrine? Where are these weird doctrines coming from? I'm talking about among the, those of us who are woke. But if you believe that that Messiah is a bastard, you're going to hell. If you believe that Joseph and Mary uh, hormones reached a level where they couldn't control themselves and that Yah made them have sex so that Messiah could be born, that satanically created doctrine of devils will send you to hell. Come out of her. Get out of that organization. Get out of anything that even looks like Babylon. Act like Babylon. Move like Babylon. Get out. It's almost over. I was talking to a brother not too long ago. He said, well, more they may not know what they're doing. Well, now they do. Now that we put out a video worldwide so that you can compare one thing to another to another, if you look in the mirror and you say, oh, my organization is doing this, and you can literally see that that's what John saw 
when he looked into the future. Guess what you can do? You can get out. <laughs> More than enough. Oh, yeah. You can do what? You can get out. What do you mean I can get out? Just walk out. <laughs> get out. What do you mean? But, 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 but I, I've been trapped in my whole life. You better get out. Papa Chachi Carter, you better get out. But my bishop, you better get out. But I just I was just out of complication. Why stop? You better get out. Or stay in. That's up to you. Stay in and give your power and your strength to the beast. Go ahead, do it. That's what you want to do. That's on you. Stay in if you want to. Give your power to the beast. Have one mind. Follow her teachings, her doctrines. Follow the whore's feast days. Follow the whore's and the beast diet. Follow the whore's relationship laws. Follow the beast system if you want to. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to have one mind with that beast, though. Well, then what y'all going to do? Verse 14 says, thee shall. Who shall? Thee shall. Who? All uh, this whole thing. Thee shall. What they going to do? They're going to make war. With who? The land. They gonna make war with who? The land. You gotta be joking, right? So let me talk to y'all. Do you really think you can take him? Do you really think? You can win. Do you really think that you can prevail against the lion of the tribe of Yahuda? Do you really think that your Dagon hats and your purple clad robes are any match for our king? And all I know you heathens believe that your military can take him. And if you just keep praying to the devil long enough, he going to save you from the wrath to come. But let me read to you what the Bible says. And I bid you farewell on this holy Shabbat. These make war with the Lamb. They call him a bastard. They make war with the lamb. They say Joseph is the daddy. They make war with the lamb. They say he's Caesar Borgia. These 
make war with the lamb. They say he does not exist. These make war with the lamb. They say he's just one of several ascended masters. These make war with the lamb. They say he started a new religion called Christianity that's against the Torah. These make war with the lamb. They say he never died on behalf of the covenant. These make war with the lamb. They say the resurrection is a fairy tale and his return is wishful thinking. These make war with the lamb. They say that they can take him. They say that they can whoop him. They say that they can destroy him. These make war with the lamb. They drink the blood of the house of Israel. These make war with the lamb. They put Israel in slave ships and took them into a 400 year captivity. These make war with the lamb. They took the wife from the husband and raped the daughters and enslaved the children. These make war with the lamb. For they hung us from trees, drug us behind horses, pulled us apart limb from limb. These make war with the lamb. They shoot us with our hands up. These make war with the lamb. They put knees on our neck till dead. These make war with the lamb. They choke us out in the back of police cars. These make war with the lamb, flooding our communities with drugs and guns. These make war with the lamb. They have our leaders wearing fish hats and cardinal and bishop clothes. These make war with the lamb. They stole our identity, stole, our, stole his children's last name. These make war with the lamb. They're in cahoots, they're in it together. These make war with the lamb. They call his own flesh and blood Gentiles. These make war with the lamb. They told his children they could eat what they want. They could dress like they want. They could talk like they want. They don't have to follow the law, statutes, and the commandments. These make war with the lamb. Uh, and the lamb and what, Moray? And the lamb. Who? The lamb. You know him, don't you? The lamb. The sinless son of Yah. You know him, don't you? The visible image of the invisible, yeah, the lamb. You, 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 you do know him, right? The promised Messiah, the lamb. Oh, David's good shepherd. You know him, right? And the lamb, 
Abraham ram caught in the bush and the lamb. You know him, right? I hope you know him. I'm talking about Noah's ark and the lamb. Yes, Aaron's rod that budded and the lamb. The testament, the testimony, and the covenant that's in the ark, the lamb. You know him, don't you? And the lamb. What lamb? You know that lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. And the lamb. Yes. Ah, Jacob's ladder. Stretching into the heavens, standing above it, ruling and super ruling from heaven to earth and the land. What land are you talking about? I'm talking about the one who can snatch heat out the fire if his children are in there. And the land. Yes, the one that can shut the mouth of a hungry lion if his children are there and the lamb the one who led us as a pillar a cloud by day and the one that led us by a pillar of fire at night and the lamb the promised one that shall to come and the lamb the one that got an announcement that came down from the Shemaim. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And the lamb, Jeremiah's branch. And the lamb, Isaiah's suffering servant that shall to come. And the lamb, Job's redeemer. And the lamb, do I have a witness in this room right now that they came against the lamb and the lamb and the lamb shall and the lamb shall. And the lamb shall ah, 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 the lamb shall shall one more let's read he shall overcome them. He shall what? He's going to overcome them. He shall what? He will overcome them. He shall what? He's going to kill them. He's going to destroy them. He's going to wipe them completely out. And the lamb shall overcome them. Why? How? You how can I said I'll tell you how come? I'll tell you why. For he is master of master. He's the king of king. If y'all understand that, put a one million in the room on 
the Shabbat. Yes, nobody more powerful than him. No organization. No secret brotherhood. No, 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 nothing, nothing, no, 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 mm, mm. no, no, no. When it's all said and done, and they try to come after him, it's going to be like nothing. And, 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 and. <laughs> Oh, and you see it. And they, I gotta go. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just happy. And they that are with him, I gotta go. They that are with who? Him. With who? Him. With who? Him. With who? Him. They that are with who? Him. They that are with who? Him. What about the nine messianic maniacs? They not with him. What about Joseph and the daddy? They not with him. What about he and the Europe? They not with him. Then who is? They not with him. I gotta go, but I'm with him. Are you with him? Are you with our king? Put a one million. I'm with him. And they that are with him. With who? The shepherd. Him. The redeemer. Him. The bread of life. Him, the master, him, the creator of all that's created, him, the true and living Elohim, him, the beloved of the father, him, the holy one of Israel, him, the king of kings, him, the head of the assembly, him, the almighty, him, the master, him, the high priest, him, the prophet, him, the preacher, him, the teacher, him, him, and they that are with him, they get called something. The chosen. I don't know about y'all, but <laughs> look. Y'all can have this. I'm with him. You can have this. I'm with him. You can take this. I'm with him. You can do all this you want. I'm with him. You can dress up like this every day. I'm with him. You can march around in the woods like this. I'm with him. I don't care how many times you take a credit. <laughs> I ain't going with you. I'm with him. And those that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. Put another one million in here. Put a one million. One million, one million. If you're with him. Everywhere I go. I'm with him on the mountain. I'm with him in the valley. 
I'm with him. When I can't make ends meet, I'm with him. And the way the world moves is rolling through here. I'm not by myself. Well, if you with him, you on the winning side. You on the side of victory. Stay with him. It won't be long, Zion. We're going on. If Abba Yah has blessed you, and you don't mind. Go on and spend the rest of your day giving him praise. Enjoy your Shabbat, Zaya. Tell Abaya, tell our Rabbi for showing us what the end is going to be. If you be so kind, if you learn something, you're encouraged. And the Ruach spoke to you. To help you understand the way this book is written for you, Zion. Would you be so kind to send some support to the work of the ark so we can keep doing this? Because I'm with him. Hello, Moray. To the casket drop. Till I breathe my last breath. I'm with him. Because ain't nobody like him. I have to stop right now. <laughs> because if I start talking about how ain't nobody like him, we would be in this room another, another three or four hours, but ain't nobody, 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 ain't nobody like him. I just got to stop right now. <laughs> Ain't nobody like him. Not like I can. Hallelujah. Babylon will finally be destroyed. The, the Babylonian religion and the Babylon, the new Babylonian government, which is Mystery Babylon, it will be destroyed by him. So if I were you, don't get with him. You got to keep the commandments of Yah. The testimony or the faith of Hamashiach. Grafted, now you got to be what else? Understand that you got to be put into the family of Israel because that's the family he saved. You need to confess your sin. <laughs> Turn from your wicked way to come out of Babylon before it's everlasting to you. Our One love, Zion. It won't be long. We're going home. Mystery Babylon will finally be destroyed.